So, this that... whole building is such a death trap that I'm actually scared. Um, the place was shut down in, like I said, in uh, 2013, and we found a letter stating that, that is that the wires are crossed with the heating, and it makes sense because in the two weeks that were hottest in August, yep. that it was pumping in hot air, and I, there's light panels of metal like that they covers that they've used to cover something that used to be a switch or something like that in the bathrooms, for example, that are burning to the touch on an arm if you swipe it, whatever, like it's actually hot and there's no electrical on in there. When the lights off, when everything, yeah, by the wall that is by the hallway, there is um, one circuit that seems to be, pr that, that, that where the shavers go into, you know, the yep. shaver only, like it won't run something high voltage, but they're hot as hell. The whole place is hot as hell. I mean, okay. it's so disturbing for some people that they have gone right off their rockers and the most sensitive have sort of lost it a little bit. You know, any progress they might have made at the camp seems to have just, you know, oh, gone out the door. window because they're freaking out, man. And, and so am I. And I'm not particularly institutionalized, and I'm scared of this place. Yeah. You know, elevator during a fire. Like, we've all tried to exit the, at a peak time during the daytime and see how long it can take. If you're up on any floor, you know, it can take almost half an hour to get down. By this time, you know, most people have died from smoke inhalation. So they're not letting you use the stairs? No, for anything. They've actually doubled up the magnets on the doors, which close at lockdown and are, are locked anyways. And they actually stay closed. I've kicked them as hard as I can, and they just flap out a foot and slam right back as a result of that strong magnet. Electrics held in there, yep. keeping the door closed. I mean, they won't open for nothing now unless you have the code, which they can change, right? Or you have a key card yep. or a key or both, I think, you need in order to get them open, which is really disturbing that What's they have moved us from our camp, wherever it was. Yep. We didn't care where it was. We were yep. waiting for them to give us another location into a fire hazardous building with literally one fucking fire extinguisher per floor. Not that that would do anything in an electrical fire anyways because it could be inside the walls, right? And here's the thing, at nighttime, on the third floor where I'm at, I can smell that smell of a previously burned wood from an electrical fire. I can smell it emanating from the heat that's already there still, and it's not cool. Like, yeah. it is not fucking cool for them to do that, to risk, like, health and safety just to house us in this fucking shitty building. Let's thank Rich Coleman for that right now. Thank you, Rich Coleman, for uh, pushing people into a building that's not ready. There's a special kind of hell for somebody like that. Yeah. Anybody I tell is totally surprised that we're not under the 10C Act or any of those things that we that were promised to us. But I kept on telling people, don't be so gullible. Don't be so gullible. What makes you think that they're actually going to follow through with that once we get there? I'm like, yeah. you know what? They haven't shown me one. And I don't think that there is going to be one. Like, well, how could you think that they are going to actually follow through? Like, yeah. Mm. So...